Hey guys, we are here to review the trailer of one of the most awaited movie of this year from Hollywood. The Fate of Furious 8. Uh, the trailer look really amazing. The, it would look better than the first as well. And uh, the seventh part uh, of the first Fast and Furious was totally for Paul and this movie uh, I couldn't see any part you know glimpse of uh, yes. except the photo uh, shot in the trailer I can't see anything in the Paul but there is a mysterious character in, uh, seen in the tra second trailer which who is a part of the team we yet do not know who is he and what Purpose. part uh. does he play in the team but it's uh, interesting that someone is there uh, Something new as mm -hmm. well, something. There's lots Exciting. of mysterious thing in this movie as how the the integral uh, member, I can say leader of the Fast and Furious, the whole series franchise, and uh, the one who carries the team all alone has turned against him. So, how the team will react, how the team will handle, uh, also uh, the Hobbs, uh, played by Dwayne Johnson, will handle the team. But uh, I don't know how good he is using this players, which Tom knows better. In the first trailer uh, re released by Fate of Furious, uh, it's, it's shown that Dom is together with this uh, with the team in the beginning, from which he breaks apart for reasons unknown. Yeah. So we we can expect the start of the movie to be like the family or the whole team is together. Something happens which makes him go against the team. So the movie will be the. A lot of the movies, like most of the time, to get back Dom, how to capture him, how to what separate be, him from huh? the uh, evil side which is he turned into. What will be very interesting to see, there's like, uh, there's always a, uh, no, there's no problem that you can kill the villain. But in this, that is not, he's not exactly the villain, but he's portrayed as a negative in the trailer. So they can't uh, kill this guy, Dom because he's a part of their family as well so and they just want to know okay, why he's doing that and we find it in the movie as well there's just something emotional part yes, would be uh, the best part of the movie is why Dom does it hmm. it's like uh, it's gonna be something out of the world the known and I think so I am getting that hint that it would be something related to Paul something related to Paul maybe I'm just guessing overall the trailer is like really entertaining really explosive the first one was was like really mellow and kind of like emotional type like how he went uh, rogue this is like more of explosive like to create the vibe to create the grip so that you want to watch this movie like yeah look. more grandeur yeah. more uh, spending of money they have shown and they have shown it uh, the, they have a sequence in air airplane they have a sequence in iceland uh, they have a sequence definitely on the ground as well. So uh, everything has been put in very much and there's lots of different locations they have shot in and this is gonna be one of the big budgets of Fast and Furious movie. But uh, main pa part of this Fast and Furious series is like most of the shots will be unrealistic but people are not gonna focus on that like how un unrealistic it is but like people are more gonna, more gonna fo focus on the entertainment part of it more on the cars, more on the action, more on the like story part of the movie or like some say like this is the final part of Furious Fast and Furious franchise but we never know like they have been say, uh, saying for the uh, yes, past few times as well mm -hmm. but we we have, we have to see we have to see how the movie is gonna end or end in this part or continue, continue forward or not yeah. but overall the trailer is really uh, like explosive like good, good music and everything uh, Fast and Furious uh franchise music has always been very entertaining and in watching the trailer also they looked at so entertaining the designing part it's always gripping you know the sound wise and talk about fast and furious 9 and 10 it's already there on imdb uh, the real year of when it's getting getting released so you don't you can't say that this is the last part and let's see what they can get in 9 and 10 i'm like i'm pretty excited to actually watch it. I am very amazed about this trailer. It's getting released on 14th April. That is a, almost a month now and people will be very excited. Uh, it's a exam ending and people will love to watch that movie. Uh, it will be very, uh, you know, reunited of all the 
big actors uh, acted in Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, Willem Dazel, Jason Statham. So Manish, like, how do you predict the storyline is going to continue in this movie, or how the story is going to develop in this movie? Uh, I believe uh, it's going to be like the first trailer suggests the wrecking ball sequences. It's going to be together. They are doing something, uh, and uh, something which is illegal or maybe legal. I don't know, but uh, which causes, uh, which which reveals that Vin Diesel has turned against the team when he dashes Dwayne Johnson's car and the police, the CIA or anybody would have caught this guy uh, Dwayne Johnson's in that area and they would have guessed that this guy has been caught in whatever illegal or legal part they have done. So he's been uh, into jail and where this guy uh, Jason meets him and they have a fight where uh, they already, uh, the team has already found out that Dom is going against them and the CIA agent needs Jason Stanton and Dwayne Johnson to get back Dom or whatever he's against him. Then uh, I don't know what's the main plot is why this uh, villain, the high tech girl uh, who has control all over the tech uh, cars and submarines and God knows tanks and let's see what, what more a human would have designed and she controls it and what's the main motto is something which is uh, you know we, we will look forward to watching this movie so this is gonna be part and uh, this is all the scenario is and I, mean, I, I believe in the end where the Iceland sequence is there I believe Vin, uh, Vin Diesel would be in, inside the team of uh, Dwayne Johnson, Vin Diesel, Jason and whole part of Fast and Furious will turn against this girl it will be all them against this girl alone so that would be a part would be very interesting that would be like climax what's your fate mine is like somewhat similar only but they, they basically the movie is going to start like the same way they are together they are doing something but because of some circumstances that makes our uh, wind diesel turn against the team which gets Dwayne Johnson captured Rest of the team everywhere. So after that, Wind Diesel turns rogue and uh, does some uh, highly dangerous illegal uh, activity. So when the team cannot uh, bring him back by reasoning, they try to use force of Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham together. So that the whole movie is like trying to bring bring him down by force, trying to get him to back in back our side. That girl in this movie has some well, mysterious yeah. part like she she explains like she's been in the previous parts also, also like she has been following the uh, wind wind diesel and she has been a part of uh, his life that's what she says in the trailer yeah. uh, but what part we have to watch the movie to find out there so, are some shots of seven as well like Abu Dhabi mm, shots the and same few series. characters from the previous movie has have also been uh, imported in this movie and uh, basically the end part over the uh, sea of uh, ice scene which takes place the fight or I, th I believe that is the mm. scene where uh, Dominic Toretto redeems himself like where he gets where they get the chance to like retaliate at the real enemy and get back to the team I believe that's how the movie is gonna end so the plane shots and everything they are like developing shots and all their extra game shots they are just part of the Fast and Furious uh, franchise uh, so uh, overall what do you think how many stars do you feel like Given this trailer, I believe three and a half stars should be. I would like to start in this trailer because it's gonna be like all action, action. It's gonna be all uh, action part in this movie. Like, I, I don't think the story is gonna be much a play gonna play that much part in this movie as more of the uh, action uh, sequences. So I believe three and a half stars would be a good uh, good rating for as per the trailer. Uh, I also go for three and a half movies. It looks amazing. And they have got all the points right with the dialogue, so it looked very gripping. Uh, the blocking of the action sequence is very great. The action, uh, the shot taking by the director has been uh, great. Uh, it's been uh, directed by uh, F. Gary Gary, who's one of the most uh, reputed directors. Well known directors. Yeah, he got lots, lots of award. He has already worked with uh, Jason, Dwayne Johnson, and Vin Diesel separately. So I believe people will be very excited to watch this movie. It's been 
perfectly placed and people are very eager to watch this movie and uh, the awaiting movie trailer has fulfilled everybody's heart and it will be very exciting and we all are waiting for 14th April yes definitely thank you guys for watching straight up trailer reviews please hit the like button share us subscribe to our channel and comment below on how did you find this review helpful and comment below like what you want more from us uh, any reviews uh, any short films any uh, trailers any uh, other movies which is are from other languages we don't mind reviewing it and please click on the bell icon to stay updated with our channel on latest reviews movie trailers and short films from our channel so till then see you next time